All right, Shalom. I'm going to start by giving all praise and glory to Yeah, I'll buy Shemin Asha, I'll buy Shemin Kakadash. The Bible says the Apostle and others are great millstone. And Shalom to all the Akim out there pushing the word in sincerity and in truth. Yeah, I just wanted to do this lesson on just basically overcoming the flesh with the spirit. You know, and the spirit, of course, is the word. So Yeah, I'll buy Shemin Asha with this knowledge, wisdom, and understanding of the Lord. You know, we have, um, you know, the keys, you know, and it's all about using them, you know, and, um, we understand the concept of the flesh, you know, brothers um, are in the flesh. You know, the, the will of the flesh pulls against the, the will of the spirit. And uh, sometimes you give in to the flesh, you know, and, you know, that, you know, the scriptures sometimes, you know, the scriptures speak about how the Lord sometimes winks, winks at our ignorance. But that gives us no excuse, you know, to um, always be, you know, fleshly minded. You know, you have to exercise the spirit of the flesh and pray and um, do that which is required of the Lord, you know, so that you can overcome, you know, the, the, the uh, overcome the flesh, man. You know, that that, um, you know, example, a couple examples of things in the flesh is, you know, sometimes pride, you know, sometimes uh, slothfulness, you know, your, your lust, you know, your fleshly desires start to get in the way. Of, of production, you know, and if that's a perpetual thing or a habitual thing, then that will minimize your your growth. You know, that will take away from production. You know, all those things are counteractive or counterproductive. You know, you see, um, if, if you look at, uh, you know, for instance, the apostles and elders, you know, th their production and things of that nature, you see they are uh, minimized, giving it to the flesh and they stay in the spirit, you know, so us brothers too. We have to keep that same concept, you know, we have to keep the layout that our elders and, and teachers, um, you know, have shown us and, and follow that, follow that structure, you know, but a lot of Jake's, um, you know, they feel a certain type of way and that's, that, you know, they, they um, buck up in the spirit and a lot of guys like that fall off in due time any damn way, you know, they, you know, feel like they, they have something, um, some other alternative way of doing things that, that might possibly be better, you know, and um, by and by they, you know, scripture speak about people, fall, you know, Jake falling off by and by. So, uh, I want to start off by this, start off in Galatians 5, the fifth chapter. It said, this is, this is Galatians 5 and 16. This I say then, walk in the spirit and you shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. Right. So in order to overcome the flesh, like I said, you have to be in the spirit of Yahweh Shemal Shot. And 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 what is what is being in the spirit? Reading, studying, um, looking into information, um, and just doing things on a positive note. You know, if you're not studying and reading and doing lessons, you should be doing other things that's productive, you know, certain things to build skills, certain things to build hobbies, you know, scriptures speak about being occupied, you know, pos uh, positive hobbies, so to speak, you know, not just uh, Netflixing and laying down and chilling and things of that nature, you know, and, and there ain't nothing wrong with, you know, having downtime, you know, but maximizing all your time towards just, you know, drinking and, and chilling, you know, that's not the spirit that you should, you know, be in, you should always be trying to grow into being a better man, you know, picking up, like I said, certain skills, knowing how to build certain things, um, you know, if things break down or, um, you know, which it's, those are things of the flesh, but it's still things that's of an importance, you know, knowing how to just have manly attributes and manly characteristics, you know, and um, when, when shit hits the fan, you know, knowing what solutions, knowing the act of wisdom and the act of actions of skill. You know, when you read about the men in the Bible, you know, they were were spiritual men, but they also had talents. You know, they had certain, uh, you know, things that they, they were uh, good at, you know, even in a so-called physical physical base. Uh, wisdom of Solomon speaks about, you know, Solomon speaks about how he knew, had an understanding of the herbs. He had an understanding of uh, basically all things. And he exercised that wisdom that he um, that he had. You know, that's what made him such a spiritual individual. Not only did he study these things, but he exercised it around his kingdom. So even in today's time, you know, you you have to uh, exercise the uh, the spirit of the Lord. You know, not only do you study this, 
study and get in the spirit, but you have to exercise the spirit by actually, you know, looking into herbs. I'm just using that as an example, looking into herbs and um, taking the herbs so that you can, um, you know, cleanse yourself, cleanse your, um, your system. You know, because a lot of things in the flesh really comes from, you know, sicknesses. You know, sometimes a lot of times you're tired, you know, it doesn't just necessarily mean you lazy as hell. A lot of times you have internal sicknesses that's pulling you down. So in order to be in the spirit, which the scriptures speak about, um, you know, honor the honor of physician. You know, it speaks about, you know, taking your taking your uh, herbs and things of that nature. So that's one example amongst many. And it says, and these are contrary the one to the other so that you cannot do the things that you would. Yeah, you desire to do certain things, but you can't. And Paul spoke about that in the book of Romans. You know, the things that he would do, he, he can't do. And he knew that it was a battle between the flesh and the spirit. And the flesh, you know, um, you know, desires to fully consume the spirit. You know, and, and if you... You know, give into it, and that's when you lose the battle. You can't succumb to the to the evils that's that's within. You know, because the flesh is a is a mother effer, man. You know, it wants to just keep you down and really just keep you in the in the in a certain mindset, so that you can't grow, so that you can't harvest new talents, so that you can't grow in the uh, grow and elevate in the spirit of Yahweh Shem Shah. Verse 18, but if you be led of the spirit, you are not under the law. Right. And one major thing, too, in the spirit is what? Do, to do what? Pray. You know, pray t to the Lord when you go through your struggles and your, um, you know, your, you know, the hell that you, you, the ca you catch when you go through certain things. Don't react flesh uh, fleshly or carnally, you know, because sometimes, you you know, some jakes are getting the spirit of wanting to whoop ass. You know, wanting to uh, lash out their anger, but you have to learn how to internalize things and and filter it out and vent the right way in the spirit. So it says, now the works of the flesh are manifest, which are these adultery, fornication, uncleanliness, lasciviousness, idolatry, witchcraft, hatred, variance, emulations, wrath, strife, seditions, heresies. Right. And, um, you know, a lot of brothers. Um, through the spirit, we don't associate with these things, you know, but a lot of things do creep in. Like, for instance, the spirit of strife, spirit of uh, wrath, you know, being angry sometimes. Uh, here's, well, I wouldn't say here's, but, um, you know, you, you, you have a, a let's like say, if it's uh, that murmuring spirit, that's a thing of the flesh. You know, if you have a problem with a man in your camp, you go into another brother. And you speaking of uh, speaking about that man behind his back, whether actually going to your brother and reconciling with him and telling him where his fault was and cleaning up. And that's some nigga ass shit, man. You know, so we have to do what the Lord says in all situations, because just cause, just because we don't commit adultery, you know, and, um, you know, fornication and things of that nature and aren't, you know, ex doesn't don't exercise witchcraft doesn't mean that we don't do the things of the flesh. You know, scripture speak about envious. Uh, it says murders, I think, if I'm mistaken. Um, drunkenness, revelings, which revelings goes into that party and bacchanalia spirit. And such like of the which I tell you before, as I have t also told you in t time past, that they which do such things shall not inherit the kingdom of the Most High. But the fruits of the spirit is love, joy, peace, long suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith. And these are uh, it's levels to all these things, man. It's levels to to the love in the spirit. You know, you want to increase in in the love of Yahweh Shema Shah, increase in joy, increase in a peace of mind being in his knowledge. All right, even long suffering, you know, because we're suffering in the flesh right now. We're suffering, you know, we we need a savior. Brothers be sickly, brothers be jacked up in this uh hell hole, you know. Brothers be um in poverty, don't know where to get a uh, your, your next meal is going to come at certain times. Even Paul said, you know, how we, um, you know, don't even know where our next meal is, but we have to be in the spirit of Yahweh Shema Shai and, and, and pray that the Lord provides. Meekness, you know, temperance, which temperance goes into balance, it says, against such there is no law. And they that are Yahweh Shai's have crucified the flesh with the affections and lusts. If we live in the spirit, let us also walk in the spirit. Let us not be desirous of vain glory, 
provoking one another, envying one another. Right, and that that's uh that's so so true. And I say it it, it sometimes the the uh the flesh in you will pull pull you down. And you the thing is you just can't allow it to, you know, and you're gonna slip. The scripture speak about how righteous you're gonna slip many times. The scripture speak about how a righteous man fall of many times, you know, um, but he gets up again. So it's all about not giving up, cause your your flesh is hardwired for 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 you to do evil, man, you know. But we have the solution to overcome, and we know, you know, and even though you know we we know and have an idea. That doesn't mean we fully got it down packed. We have to exercise, you know, let's say repetition. Repetition is the father of learning. Repetition is the mother of skill. So repetitiously, uh, through discipline, doing the things which the Lord desires us to do, it will help us overcome and become more and more spiritual individuals. So 2 Edward 16, 76, well, I started 75. Be ye not afraid, neither doubt, for the Most High is your guide, and the guide of them who keep my commandments and precepts. So it's about keeping the commandments and the precepts. All right, all the words of Yahweh Shema Shah studying, and you have to study, and you have to really get into this knowledge to, to fully keep it, man. You know, saith the Lord power, let not your sins weigh you down, and let not your iniquities lift up themselves. So don't let, don't let the things that you have done in the past and the foolish actions that you've done, you know, speak about youth. Youthful lust and, and your youth weigh you down, you know. Scripture speak about uh you know, forgetting the things that are behind you know, behind you and, and looking forward to the things that's before. Scripture speak about also how a righteous man eyes are in front of him. So you gotta keep your eyes dead set on the track and what's the track? The kingdom of heaven. You know, and it speaks about don't keep let your iniquities lift up themselves because even though you push down or push down the flesh, that doesn't mean it goes away. You know, there was a saying that we don't never kill our demons. We just learn to live above them. You know, so if you sink down, you can you can fall right back into the old man. And that old man will, will invite more demons, 10 times stronger. And then it'd be harder, hard as hell in, to uh, get up out of that situation. So the best bet is to, to uh, push forward and to always go for it. Don't stop. Don't look back. You know, Scripture says, remember Lot's wife, which that's spiritual. And, and even in these times, no, don't look back at the old man, you know, the things that you've done, your regrets, you know, you know, saw, you know, that, that extremely soft feel, well, you know, if I would have, I wish I wouldn't have done that in the past, you know, we all wish we wouldn't have done certain things, but we can't let that uh, hover over us because it gets in the way of production, you know, so this was just a lesson I just wanted to, um, uh, you know, just speak speak on certain things about the flesh and, and for brothers to, you know, kick that spirit. So I want to end by giving all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Shema, Shabbat, Shema, Krakadash, the bonus of the apostles and the others of the great millstone. Shalom, Amaki.